Hello dear students, in the previous class of sequence and series, I have given some practice questions. So five practice questions I have given. So those practice questions, if you are done, then that's okay. Or otherwise, look at the solutions for the practice questions, which I have given there. So if you observe the first question, which is given. So the question is find the next term in the sequence. And if you observe the sequence, sequence is available in the form of a root and if you observe the individual terms so here the sequence is given in such a way that root over a plus root b form so here a b c these terms are following some pattern so 9 7 5 3 so 9 7 5 3 the next odd number is going to be 1 so answer should start with answer should should start with root over 9 root over 7 root over 5 root over 3 that means the next term will start with root over 1 that is very clear so let's look at what is happening with the next term so the next term which is uh, in the form of a root you can observe this 2 root 14 so how can we write 2 root 14 so if you take 2 inside then it is going to be root over 14 into 4 root over 14 into 4 is nothing but root 56 and if you observe the next term so the next term is going to be root 58 so root 56 root 58 and the next term is 2 root 15 how can we write 2 root 15 15 into 4 which is going to be root over 60 so this term is root over 60 and the next term is root over 62 so are you able to understand any pattern so 56 58 60 62 that means the next term should be root over 64 with the common difference of 2. So that means this value will be under root 1 plus root 64 is 8. So 1 plus 8 means it is going to be root 9. Root 9 is nothing but 3. So answer must be option 1. So mark the answer choice as going to be 3 here. So that is how the question is given. Let's look at the next question. So in this question, the question is having some numerators and denominators. Whenever the numerator by denominator values are given, most of the cases they will be giving these patterns. Separately, numerators are in one pattern, denominators are in one pattern, or numerator will be constant, or denominator will be constant. So, those type of three models they will be giving in the exam. So, here if you observe the numerators directly, you are able to see 2, 3, 5, and dash 11. So, what are these numbers? These numbers are going to be prime numbers so we are able to see 2 3 5 the next prime number is 7 so your answer should start with 7 so 7 in the numerator 7 in the numerator and what about the denominator if you observe the denominators here 5 and 10 and 26 and question mark 122 so what are these numbers if you observe these numbers so 5 is nothing but 2 square plus 1 and 10 is nothing but 3 square plus 1 and 25 is nothing but 5 square plus 1 so 2 square plus 1 3 square plus 1 5 square plus 1 these are prime number square plus 1 next one is going to be 7 square plus 1 7 square is 49 49 plus 1 which is going to be 50 so 50 should be the denominator value so answer must be 7 by 50 which is available as option 4 mark it as answer choice let's look at the next question so in this question, we have a mixed fractions, convert the mixed fractions into the fractions so that you will be able to understand some pattern in the numerator, some pattern in the denominator. So there is a mixed fraction as 66 2 by 3. So how can we write 66 2 by 3 in the form of a fraction? So we can write 66 into 3, which is going to be 188 plus 2. So it is going to be 200 by 3. And let's look at the next one. Next one is given as 50, next one is given as 40 and the next one is 33 2 by 6. So what is 33 2 by 6? 33 into 6 plus 2. What is 33 into 6? It is giving a result as 188 plus 2 which is going to be 200 divided by 6. So next 28 4 by 7. So what is 28 4 by 7? If you further simplify 28 into 7 plus 4 divided by 7. 
So 28 into 7 means 7 8s are 56, 7 2s are 14, 196 plus 4. It is giving a result as 200 by 7. So next question mark value they are asking. And the next term is going to be 200 by 9. And next term is going to be 20. So now I am able to understand some pattern here. So some fractions are given, some are given in the form of an integer. And mostly I am able to see the numerator as 200. And that is what is the point which I have told you. In most of the cases, numerator kept as uh, some constant, denominators will follow some pattern. And sometimes denominator will be constant, numerator will so follow some pattern. Sometimes only numerators will follow different pattern, denominators will follow different pattern. These are the possible questions we are getting. So here, if you take all the numerators as 200, then I can write 200 by 3. And this if I write it as a fraction, 200 divided by what is 50, 200 by 4. Next, 200 by 5 will be equal to 40. Next, 200 by 6, that is directly given. Next, 200 by 7, that is also directly given. Next term is definitely 200 by 8. This is what is a missing term. So, 200 by 8 means we can comfortably write 8 to 16, we left with 40, 8 fives are. So, answer must be 25, which is available as option 3. You can mark it as answer choice. Let's look at the next question. So, in this question, the values are given in the form of a root. So, what are the numbers which are available inside the root? Let's observe. So, 4, 18, 48, 100, 180, 294. They are asking us to figure out what is the next term in the sequence. So, to find out the next term in the sequence, I am trying to observe these numbers. So, 18 is given. So, 4 is nothing but 2 square. But 18 is not 3 square, but I can say 3 square is 9. 9 into 2 is 18. So, next term is given as 48. So, after 3 square, if you take 4 square, 4 square value is 16, but they are given 48. 16, 3 is 48. So, there is a pattern I am able to understand now. Now, 2 square into 1, 3 square into 2, 4 square into 3, 5 square into 4, next 6 square into 5, next 7 square into 6. So, the next term should be 8 square into 7. 8 square into 7 is nothing but what is 8 square value? 8 square is 64. 64 into 7 which should be your answer which is should be available in the form of a root. So, 7 fours are 28. 7 6 are 42. 42 plus uh, 2 is going to be 44. So, your answer choice must be root over 448 which is available as option 2. Mark it as answer choice. Look at the next question. Here we have a mixed fractions. As I told you, first convert the mixed fractions into the fractions, then figure out the logic. So we have the fractions as mixed fractions as 1 8 by 9. How can we write this? 9 ones are 9 plus 8, which is going to be 17 by 9. The next one is 2 2 by 9. So 9 twos are 18. 18 plus 2, 20 by 9. Next is going to be 2 5 by 9. So, 2 5 by 9 means 9 2 is 18, 18 plus 3 is 23 by 9. So, next one is 2 8 by 9, 2 8 by 9 means 9 2 is 18, 18 plus 8 which is 26 divided by 9. So, next one is 3 2 by 9, 3 2 by 9 means 9 3 is 27, 27 plus 2 which is 29 by 9. So, the next term is required. So, first observe all the denominators are with the common number 9. So, it's a constant number. Denominator is constant. Let's understand the pattern which is available in the numerators. So, numerators are 17, 20, 23, 26, 29. So, numerators are going with the common difference of 3, 17 plus 3 and 20 plus 3 and 23 plus 3 and 29 plus 3 should come in the next term. So, 29 plus 3 means it is going to be 32. So, 32 divided by 9 should come as an answer. So, 32 by 9, if you further simplify, because the options are given in the mixed fraction, let me further simplify. 9 threes are 27. I left with the value of 5. So, 3, 5 by 9 should be the answer, which is available as option 4. You can mark it as an answer choice. So, hope you are able to understand. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment box so that I can make a separate video on it. Thank you so much. Subscribe Maitri Academy channel.